Yo, what is going on guys? It is Prodigy today and today is a different type of video. Today is going to be a YouTube thumbnail tutorial. I know a lot of you guys like my thumbnails. You guys want to know how I make them and a lot of you guys want to make them for free and of course Photoshop is pretty expensive but there is ways to do good thumbnails for free. There's a lot of good websites and this is the one that I use. It's called Panzoid.com. I'll put all the links in the description so you guys know what website to go to and there's like there's a lot of websites for these thumbnails guys but this one but this one personally is my favorite to use it's really easy to use it's very very good and you can also make some kick-ass videos too guys so I really like using this website so without further ado let's show you guys how to make some cool thumbnails really really good ones to get views and a lot of exposure to your channel so let's get right into it so first thing you want to do is go to panzoid.com up here you can see in the top left corner you go all the way down to backgrounder 3 that is the thumbnail thing and so right here on the screen you see templates basic layers and images so first you want to go to basics and from here you go to YouTube 1 you click on YouTube thumbnail and it already does the dimensions for you so you don't have to worry about that the next thing you want to do is go to layer 1 and these are your backgrounds you have layer 1 and layer 2 you have your overlays and you also have your text files and images so we're just gonna go for overwatch we're gonna make a simple overwatch thumbnail but for this video I wanna go a little try hard so you guys what all you can do in this software or this website so let's go to layer one click on upload image I already saved the files for this video already so we're gonna type in overwatch OW click on this right here we already got our background so we got this and since it's too big you're gonna click on image style so right here you already have the file selected which is this big overwatch file you go to image style click on fill and then for layer opacity don't worry about that right now but for now let's put that down to 0.9 and for layer 2 you're gonna have like a little flare a little colorful background so we're gonna upload image we're going to go to file select once again click on this purple one and of course you guys can pick whatever background you want to do this is just a tutorial video to show you guys how to use this and how to get good at it and I watched a bunch of these videos on how to make good Panzoid thumbnails for free it's way better than Photoshop of course you don't get all the stuff you can use in Photoshop but this is really really good to use guys so here we go alright so here's our purple background and of course you can see there's no background of overwatch it has a little lens flare right here so what we're gonna do is click on fill and then we're going to click on layer opacity bring that down and you can see there's some blue on the edges so we're just gonna go to custom click on that we're going to scale it so there's no more blue and there's no more lens flares so we're gonna click on 5 and then we're gonna go to 2 so there we go no more lens flares but there's also still blue so we're gonna move these around so there's no more blue we're gonna put that to 19 we're gonna move this up so there's no more so there we go we got a pretty good purple background, but it's still pretty light, so we're gonna lower the layer one. So we're gonna go to layer one where it's at 0 0.9, we're gonna bring this down some more. So now it's kinda dark, but it's also, you can see the background in the back. So we're gonna lower this. We'll put this to 3.5, 0 0.35. There we go. So now that we're done with this, we're gonna go down to text and images. And what this is, is that the text box with the T at the top is for text and the box with the mounted inside it is for images. So first we're gonna click on text, make some text boxes, we're also gonna click on the image box. So we're just gonna do a tracer background, all right? We're gonna do a tracer thumbnail, type in the word tracer, and I already have all these images saved for this video, so we're gonna click on this. We're gonna make her a little bit smaller so she can fit the picture. Put this, put this down to 0 0.8. All right, we're gonna fit that on there get our hair in the picture so we got that done alright we're gonna go back to the text and of course you can make this whatever size you want but for now I'll just make a point eight you can make it point four you can make it point two but for right now I'm just gonna make a point eight so it looks pretty good on the screen I like that picture too so go back to the images or the text sorry you're gonna go to here and the default text is panzoid so we're just gonna type in tracer all capital tracer And then we're going to go to this one, and we're going to type in gameplay. All right, and now for this one, we're going to type in something cool, maybe insane, awesome, 
For now, we're just going to type in insane. So there we go. We're going to line these up on the bottom of the screen. Insane, tracer gameplay. So the first one, insane, we're going to put this to about maybe 250. So it's big enough. Going to change the text out. I usually put on an impact. I usually either use impact or I use this text called splendid plan. But for right now, we'll just use impact. So you guys, just the basics of it, how to make a good thumbnail. So we got insane right here. Going to line that up over there nicely. We got the word tracer. Put impact back on. Going to go down to 250. Line that up correctly. And for the last word gameplay, we're going to go to 250 once again. Put on the text impact and line that up once more. So, so now they're all lined up with the edges looking nice. We're going to raise this up a little bit. Make Maybe make the text a little bit bigger. I want it a little bit bigger. So put this to 350. All right. Do them all in the row. Insane. Tracer, you can fix them as you go as well. Don't have to be imperfect just yet. Still fixing all the details, so. Got insane. Got the word tracer. And we got the word gameplay, so. There we go. Line them all up. Make it look nice on the screen, on the picture. And so for the picture tracer, you don't want it like, you know, behind the words. So we're gonna put this in front of the text. So we're gonna put this in front of the text so it has a nice look to it. So the tracer picture can be over the letter Y. Even though you still know what word this is, you still know it's a letter Y, so we're gonna do just like that. Maybe put her right here. And now we're gonna move the picture down to 0.75 to make it a little bit smaller. All right, that's a lot better. So move her up a little bit so her legs. There we go, so we got that done. Insane Tracer gameplay. And what we can also do is add some more images. So we're gonna go down, click the mountain box, Click on the mountain box, add image. We're gonna type in Overwatch. Maybe if there's a logo we wanna use. So we're gonna, we're gonna click on this one, drag this up here like so. You're gonna get the other logo. Type in Overwatch once more. And you can always save all these pictures. Just type in Overwatch logos for PNG, transparent Overwatch logos. They have a lot of them, so we're just gonna do that. We're going to make the little circle one a little bit smaller so it can get out of the words like this. That looks a lot better. Put that behind the word Overwatch. So there we go. Line line them all up. Make them look nice and neat. There we go. And so now for the text, you just don't want basic white letters. So what we're going to do is change some gradient colors on it. Go back to the word insane. Click on color. We're going to drag this over here. We're going to find a nice dark orange. And for that, I'm just going to pick orange colors just to keep it simple. But when you make your own thumbnails, you can pick whatever colors you want. So we're going to use the dark orange for the next color. We're going to use a little lighter one. And if you guys want to know what I'm doing, I'm just clicking on the box. You click on the box. It makes a smaller box. You click on this. And you can pick your color wheel. Whatever color you want, you can drag the slider up and down. Pick your colors, whatever you guys want. So... For the last one, we're going to pick kind of an orange yellow as color. So we got that. And for the gradient angle, I usually use negative 89. That's like horizontal enough for me. I think it looks pretty good. We're going to drag this down. We're going to drag this one down and drag this one up. So there, it has a nice little gradient to it, top to bottom, just how we like it. So for the rest of the colors, instead of doing it all over again, we're just going to copy and paste so it makes it a lot simple. So click on the first dark square, go to the text coding, control C to copy, go down to tracer, you remember where your squares are. So you go down to tracer, you remember where your square was, click on the little section, and then you just click control V to paste. And there your color is. So just do that for every word you want to put the colors to. Keep doing it. It's very fast and easy instead of just making new colors. Control C copy click on the new word and then control V to paste there we go our colors are all there do the last one and if you guys want you can fast forward through this if it because you already know what we're doing to just copy and pasting colors and nothing too serious and of course we're gonna get rid of the white box 
to make it all even negative 89 so there we go they're matching top to bottom orange to yellow looks pretty good so far I really like how it's looking I like the background of the purple and the overwatch logo I like that a lot all right for the last word we're gonna just copy and paste once more for the word gameplay click on this remember your spot remember that that's important to remember your spot where your box was cuz if you don't it's just gonna make all the words messed up makes all the words discolored not make a matching so remember where your boxes were all right so copy paste control V go back get the next box control C control V and for the yellow one do the same thing and there we have it we have all matching color words and of course get rid of the white negative 89 and there you guys are the text and the good thing about this thumbnail is that it's matching tracers pants so it's really good color coordination I think I did I didn't even notice that until now but now that I notice it it looks really really good for this thumbnail so to add some more flair to it you can also put text borders around your text so we're gonna scroll down pick on the word insane scroll all the way down to we see text border we're gonna turn this on and use the edge it as a black text border put the thickness to about 9 put that to 9 so you, you, see, you can see a nice black box around it and also you can put text shadow and I normally don't use text shadows that much but for this video I'll use I'll just use it so you can see all the features for this you know website turn the text shadow on and I normally just put it to whatever the text color is so I'll put it to orange nice a nice bright orange and I usually put the stuff X to negative 1 and Y to negative 1 and the blur to 30 so there you go you can see the text background it's kind of a bright orange kind of glowing I like how that looks we're gonna do that for the each each of the next words so tracer turn the text border on thickness to 9 text shadow negative 1 and negative 1 and 30 do that for each of them alright put the nice bright orange there we go and for the last word gameplay do the same thing of course put the black on there nine text shadow on put that bright orange up there negative one negative one and then for the last one 30 so there we are move this up a little bit so they don't overlap in the highlighting move that up move these two up there we are don't want to overlap any words alright so there we are the finished product and of course you can add other stuff to it as well you can add new characters new PNG files but for right now it looks really good you're gonna make the background a little bit lighter there we go so that has a little bit darker feel to it put this maybe up to maybe 0.32 alright so I like the purple background of the color coordination of the orange and yellow with the pants of tracer that looks really good I like the overwatch logo so that's pretty much how you make a thumbnail of Panzoid guys. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up. And of course to download your image, the most important thing of this whole video on how to download your background for your thumbnail, all you gotta do is click on download your background right here at the bottom. It renders in like a second. You click on download, takes you to a whole nother screen. Maybe it takes, it takes about maybe a minute to you know render it all and process it. But right here it took really fast. So we're just gonna name it something else. We're gonna name it thumbnail tracer this is a simple just a simple title save that you can see it's saving on the bottom of the screen let's check it out the finished product and there it is guys the finished thumbnail hope you guys enjoyed this video hope this tip video helps you guys out in making good thumbnails to attract viewers and more subscribers thanks for watching again guys I really appreciate it peace out guys and like I said earlier guys if you guys did enjoy the video please give a thumbs up I really do appreciate it guys like the video and also to hit that subscribe button on your way out of the video I really do appreciate it guys. Thanks for watching once again. This is prodigy. Peace out guys Enjoy your guys thumbnails